Hey everybody, it's Paula from Crafting by the Pond. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Um, I jumped on the bandwagon, just like everyone else. <laughs> um, so I placed an order uh, with uh, Temu um, probably last Saturday, and my stuff came Friday. So um, there's a lot of stuff in here. So um, it's all crafting, journaling stuff. I didn't buy like any like housewares or anything like that. So let's get into it. You might want to get a beverage. There's a lot in here. <laughs> so no particular order. Um, I don't have a list of like how much things cost. I know they send you that list and I just, it, you know, if you see the stuff, you can find it. Um, so this is the second time I tried to take this video. So that's why this is opened. Um, this first item, it is a small silicone mat and it's supposed to be for your wax seals. And I thought that was really, really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to be back later at some point uh, today or tomorrow um, doing a little wax sealing and you'll see why. Um, so I picked that up. I mean, their prices are cheap. The shipping is great. Um, it got here a lot quicker than Allie. They have some of the same products, but they're different. Um, so I picked up these wax seals and there's a hundred in here. I just, I kind of like the vintage uh, colors with the browns and, um, gold. So that was really pretty. And Socrates is in here, so who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> and again, I'm just pulling stuff out of this bag. Um, okay, so here is some, I mostly picked up like ephemera and like wax seal stuff and some stamps. But um, So these are vintage kind of prints, and it's really thin paper, which I'm really okay with that. Um, and I'll just do a quick flip so you guys can kind of see. Um, the paper is really thin, but that's what I was wanting. It's almost like kind of like a newsprint based. Um, it's a little too white, whitish for me. Um, so I'm going to actually try, ooh, that's pretty, um, to tea dye them and see um, just to make sure that, you know, the color doesn't all bleed or wash off. Well, you know, we'll have to do a couple donor sheets, but that's pretty with that uh, vintage lady. Again, sorry, the cat is like <laughs> having some zoomies right now. I don't understand about that. So I liked her and the birds. I just thought that was really, really pretty. Um, and then this little uh, Cupid, he's cute. Uh, so I liked him. I think these are under two bucks. I mean, you can't beat that with a stick. Come on. Um, and then these are just some vintage uh, children. So, and then these are, oh, circus people. So that's kind of cool. So I got those. Again, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to show you everything <laughs> that I picked up. And I'm not going to make you suffer to listen to me, nor watch me rebag anything. I'll do that after. Um, okay, so here was this cute little, it's uh, to make uh, bookmarks, and I think, I remember I paid like, I think this was like 98 cents. I can't, um, like these flags are great, so I don't have anything like this in my stash, so I wanted to pick that up, so I got some ideas for that, it's going to be great um, to make like the hidden bookmarks for the journal that I want to do and let's see I'm just trying to kind of group some of the things together oh okay so this now this was really cheap I think it was like two bucks like the handle is look I don't care about that I've got some really nice handles but look at that wax seal so I'm going to be using this because I made a ton of Valentines. So I wanted that, the, you know, but like the, the handle is just, I think it's just plastic. It's like a hard plastic. So that's probably why I think this was, I think I paid under a buck for this. I think it was maybe a dollar and some change if it was anything. And this little bag just does not want to cooperate. And I want to open this up to see. Yeah. I mean, that's just plastic. Is it? 
Nope, it's wood, but it's really light. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I don't really care too much for the handle. I wanted the um, the driver, the actual stamp. I didn't really care about the handle because, like I said, I'm good. Okay, so this I fell in love with. These are some more, just some more paper. And it's just uh, vintage kind of lace, but it's really, really pretty. And I won't have to do any additional dyeing with these uh, as far as the tea dyeing because I'm, I'm happy with the color. And there's quite a bit in here. I, I don't know if there's like 40 or 50 sheets, so I thought that was a, a good deal. Still going. Um, okay, these are lovely. This, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. Um, so these are just uh, vintage photos, uh, you know, Victorian kind of age, which is my jam. Um, just the, the pictures are beautiful, um, and you can just tear them out of the book and go and I think do you get single sheets yeah they're all single sheets and it's still that real thin kind of paper but again it's really okay some of them you get two and others there's just the one but I mean it's really okay oh no these are you get double yeah, don't mind me I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> sorry you should watch somebody else <laughs> never prepared can't talk. Um, but look at that. How beautiful that is. So, yes, I will be doing a vintage journal after I finish or start my Alice in Wonderland. So, this was great. And this was like maybe $2 and some change. I mean, you, and the shipping was free. Like, okay, sign me up. So, I got that one. And what else do I have? Oh, look. Okay, so this, totally love this. This was just some ribbon. and But look at how pretty that is. That is just gorgeous. And it's like a burlap material. It is just gorgeous. I fell in love with the print, so um, I had to do it. Um, this will, this is actually could go in my Alice in Wonderland journal because of the roses and um, I think I'm going to put that one in there and I really liked it because they have like the the pink but I love yellow is my favorite color so I really liked they have that yellow rose there that's pretty so that's what sold me on that so got that one another room um, okay, so more ephemera, two more, but then it feels like, I don't know, it keeps going and going. So this was, um, 30 pieces, and it's the Era, Era Teller series, and these are, um, just, like, ladies, and just real beautiful, like, vintage, it's vellum. So, and, oh, there's the sticker. I have difficulty getting the back of the stickers off. <laughs> so there's that one, and you get two of those, and then another like cherub, and then there's a lady. So you get a, quite a few in here. Like I said, there's 30. So I mean, it's good to kind of have in your stash, and you get kind of three of each. So there's the one of her. And some, what are these? Oh, look at that. It's just gorgeous. Hold on, let me see if I can't grab something I have close to me so you can see it. That's real pretty. I like that a lot. Um, some butterflies, meh. Butterflies to near filler. I do like them, but they're not like my favorite. Um, oh, look at that. The scales of justice. You know who you are. Okay, um, let's see, and there's just some angels there, um, and just some more, 
I'm just trying to go fast because I'm already at 10 minutes and I've got so much left. Um, you know, cute little filler ones. That's going to be great. And she's got a heart and a flag. Real pretty. Ooh, these got kind of tore up a little bit. Hmm. Hopefully I can maybe put a book on it and it'll flatten out. So that's that. Oh, and you can actually see them better if I do it like that. <laughs> Things you learn. Okay. Things that you learn. Oh, um, again, scales of justice. Know who you are. Um, let's see. And then hers. So I thought those were great. I picked those out. What I did, Timu was kind of like... Um, alley where you've got to kind of look to make sure because you'll click on something because you're like oh that's so cute and then it kind of brings you like down this rabbit hole of what am I looking at and that's not the size or the picture and so just kind of you know be mindful of what you're getting because <laughs> you may not it may not be what you think so this is uh they're, these are called Mr. Modern. Um, I don't have a lot of, I have some male things in my stash, but not a lot. So I wanted some gentlemen just for, you know, my journal. I'm just trying to pick out the kind, the ones so you can see them kind of all what they look like. So, I mean, I'm very pleased with these. The quality looks really good, um, but we'll see when it comes time <laughs> to get the plastic sticker off the back. <laughs> if I have to, you know, wrestle with it, I'll let you guys know. All right, so here's a bag. That's kind of cool. And then some book pages. And then feather quill. So, yeah. Okay, so that was the, the gentleman. So not bad. And these were cheap. They were, I think they were like two bucks, maybe under two dollars. I don't know. I tried to kind of not get things that were too, too spendy. Um, and it's very easy, like I said, to sit down and just kind of be, you know, with your phone or whatever, and you're looking at everything that they have and you look up and like an hour is going by it's dangerous and then here's the only thing I don't like about them is they're like blowing up my email and um my yeah my emails like they're constantly and like when you download the app on your phone they're like all day long. They're like pinging you like, Hey, did you see this? Hey, did you see that? So I may have to like disable, um, the, the app off my phone only because I take call a lot for where I at work. And so like in the middle of the night when I'm trying to sleep and my phone goes off, I, I have to get it right. It'll ding me or whatever because the answering service uh, will text me. Um, so if it goes off, I have to check it. So every, it never fails, <laughs> it never fails. It's usually like 12 or one o'clock in the morning. And I think, oh man, I'm getting paged. And I look and it's like Timu, hey, have you seen this, whatever. So I'm gonna have to make an executive decision about that because my sleep is very important and I need it. So, but more to come on that, guys. Okay. So, all right. All right. And I got two of these. And if you know, you know, um, this is going to be, again, for the Alice in Wonderland journal. And I'm done buying stuff because I need to just get the damn journal done. <laughs> all right. No, this is not. These were vint just vintage. Um different stickers. This one I really like. Follow your heart, but take your brain with you. No doubt. Um, so these are just kind of some uh, Victorian stickers, and I really like them. They were cheap. They were, I think, 99 cents. And you got, I think it doesn't even tell you 
How many? Oh, and there's Socrates photo bomb. Sorry. Off you go, Boopy. Um, and he's probably going to come back because he doesn't like being told to get down. So, oh, look, there's an old tricycle, some flower pots, um, some pen and ink, pretty Victorian girl. Okay, so look, I have a teapot very similar to that. I do, I'm a weirdo, have silver, love it. I clean it. <laughs> it's too, I don't know why, I just love it. Oh, look at the bunny rabbit. He's cute. I like him a lot. And then, let's see, every flower must grow through the dirt. Isn't that the truth? All right, pretty. This is really great. Where there is tea, there is love. I'm so glad I picked this up. Oh, look, and the vintage phone. All right, let me move these so we can kind of, the vintage phone, the car. I'm glad I got two of these. This is incredible. These are great. And another rabbit. And a little bird. Perfect hat. Afternoon tea. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, oh, glue. <laughs> For the crafters and all of us. There's our vintage glue, ladies. Um, oh, old fashioned coffee grinder. I have one of those in my kitchen. Um, let's see. A pram. And a watch. A steel pen ad. And another ink quill. It's just a vase. <laughs> okay, and then another hand. Ooh, perfume bottle. That's pretty. I hope you guys can see these okay. I'm just like fascinated checking out my stash and my loot here. I'm not even looking to see if I'm in shot or not. Um, okay, so she's pretty. She's a little flapper. I like her. Um, and these are some old-fashioned goggles. Those are cool. Uh, think happy, stay happy. Uh, always remember that no matter how useless you feel, you're someone's reason to smile. Isn't that sweet? Old-fashioned car. Yes, pretty ladies. Ooh, she looks like Cornelia Vanderbilt. Check her out. Pretty. Okay, and then there's another lady. Oh, and then here's your crown. All right. And old-fashioned salt and pepper shakers. I don't have anything like that, but I have an old um, oil and vinegar stainless steel, not stainless steel, what am I saying? Silver, good grief, um, oil and vinegar canister that my grandmother had given me, so that is a treasure. And look, there's the violin, just like my frauder. And let's see, green, uh, but first love. And then this guy, whatever it is he's doing. So I got two of those. If you can find these, are the bomb. And I would recommend that because there's a lot of good pieces in there, especially if you're a vintage journaler. That is good. Okay, I'm just trying to pull some stuff out here. It's still going. Still going. This wasn't a huge order either. I think it was like maybe 45 for everything. And like, I still have a ton in this bag. Okay, so these, everybody is hauling these. These are the um, the mushrooms in the mason jar. And if I open these. Sorry about the crinkling. Some people like it. Don't bother me. Um, so we'll leave those in there, but let's get, I'm trying to get the glare out of your face <laughs> as you get blinded. Okay. Um, all right. So these are really cool. So there's like the sticker mason jar. And then what you do is you put your mushrooms in there first. And yeah, so this is cool. Had to get those because you know, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> so we have to have those. And let me move those out of the way. Yeah, I'm just making a big mess right now, but it's really okay because I'm going to put it all away when I'm done. Um, okay, this I loved. Okay, so this is the bomb.com right here. This I think I paid $2.98 for. 
and um, oh my gosh, I just love it. So this I want to preserve this band because I think that is just really pretty. So I'm going to be keeping that to use with something. Um, so again, just thin kind of newsprint and it's kind of like a booklet and all of the vintage, you know, just the vintage, uh, ladies I'm trying to not block your view so you can see, and I'm looking at it upside down. <laughs> see like the 1950 stuff, why do they put like that stuff in there? I don't, I'm not like with the cooking stuff and I know a lot of people, um, like that but I don't it like doesn't fit why did they put it in here a filler I don't know I don't get it um so that's really pretty I like that even though I'm not really a pink girl but um these are really really the images are really really pretty um they're very soft they're very kind of muted I like that oh Thelma oh you that oh that's gonna be for Thelma <laughs> Um, but just, I mean, this was amazing, this book. I'm glad I got it. Um, the other big thing with Timu, just like Allie, um, is, see, like, I don't like that. Like, <laughs> I won't use those. I'm just going to rip those out and, I don't know. <laughs> if you want them, leave a comment below and I'll send your address. I'll mail it to you. Um, because I hate to waste stuff, but I'm not going to use it either. Um, let's see. So, again, hope you guys aren't bored. Oh, that is stunning. Oh, yes, that is probably going to be the cover to a Victorian journal right there. Just beautiful. Oh, again, that's lovely. Okay. All right, sorry, I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to look and show, look at everything and show you guys too. I probably should have <laughs> looked at everything first. Okay. Ooh, that's different, isn't it? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm just going to flip randomly. Flip. So this one was worth, you know, good value for the money here on this one, except for the weird ads in the beginning that don't really belong there. <laughs> So, but whatever. I, I mean, I get it. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, just gorgeous. Yeah, this was a, this was a home run. Excited for this one. Oh, well, that's pretty. The China Company one I will take because it's, you know, decent. All right. So, I don't even know if you guys. I'm gonna have to rewatch this video before I post it just to make sure you can see everything. <laughs> So anyway, this is a home run. Highly recommend this. And they're all, they're not just kind of loose in there. They're attached at the top. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Look at that. Beautiful yellow dress. Yep. Oh, nope. That might have to be the cover. <laughs> so anyway, that. Pick that up. Great. Great value for the money there, ladies, gents. $2.98. Um, okay, let's give some more in this bag. I'm trying to pull things out. Okay, so um, just some uh, vintage background paper. Uh, and this is just kind of loose, and it's just a bunch of music notes. So, again, for the journal, just journals and backgrounds, what have you. Okay, so, all right, these, you know I got two of these. Um, <laughs> Because <laughs> these um, are for, these are actually for the Alice in Wonderland. I've seen several people haul this, so, you know, one in Rome. <laughs> one in Rome. Okay, so there goes one of the footmen. Um, the, it's supposed to be a Cheshire cat, and he's, you know, kind of close. Uh, the rabbit. Um, and then one of the soldiers. And Alice, Mushroom, and the Watch, Thimble, oh, and the King of Hearts, and then the Rabbit, again, and those teacups, beautiful, and then just a heart, and then the Roses, 
and a butterfly. Oop, and I skipped one. There's one stuck. Okay, and that's another king. All right, the Mad Hatter's hat. And of course, can't forget the flamingos. And then the rabbit. Tea kettle. Oh, a lock and a key and a heart. Again, your token <laughs> butterfly. Um, the drink me potion bottle. Alice's tights. And the dice. And this is another lock and key. And then a cupcake. So I picked up two of those because I wanted to have enough for the journal. I told you guys, this is insane. Like, I went... I went a little crazy. I was very excited. Um, okay, so I picked up another stamp, and this one I picked it up because it was 98 cents. I remember that one very vividly. Okay, so this one, it's just plastic. That driver, again, don't care. But look at that bow. So I wanted to... Uh, try this one out to see if it's actually any good. I'm concerned because it's kind of deep, so I'll see how how that one comes out. And I'll have to let you know. All right, guys, we're almost to the end. Can you believe it? All right, so maybe not. <laughs> here. Okay, so I picked up. I thought I ordered the yellow ones. Um, so these are just some stickers that I thought would look good in a project. So they have the gold foiling. I thought I ordered the yellow ones. Who knows? Again, pink, not really a fan. Um, I don't think this is the right one, but... Um, let's see how easy they are to get off. Oh yeah, you're probably going to have to use like pickups with these because they're pretty, you know, just to kind of get them started. And it looks like, yeah, that's just kind of weird. I'll have to figure that out. So out of all the things I got, I'm kind of meh. I'm underwhelmed with this, with those. So, we'll see. Um, Alright. So, the rest is... Let me do... Okay, so I ordered, like, a bunch of um, the wax... Um, the wax beads, because, I'm like I said, I'm going to be getting back into doing uh, more of the uh, wax seals. Because I think it's they're great to do if you're going to be making bookmarks or something like that. And they're just, I don't know, I just really like them. So I, I got a different bunch of different colors. Um, and then these, they weren't very expensive. They were under like two bucks. And I think you get like a hundred in all of these bags. Um, so I really like that color, that copper. That's real pretty. Um, and then this is more of kind of like a darker red. So we'll see how those come out. And then these, I really like the color of these. And <laughs> this is crazy. They're cat paws. I did not buy them for that. However, I liked the colors. <laughs> and they were cheap. They were like 98 cents. So, like, I don't care. I'll melt them down. This one I thought... Okay, so this and those stickers, like these, <clears throat> I thought these, they looked darker on the ad. So two things out of all the stuff I got, kind of underwhelmed. And this is like very red, so I'm going to be using these with the heart driver and see how those turn out. Because this one is kind of deep too, so I'm because the the center of it is is quilted. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. And if I have to use a ton of wax to get one stamp out of it, that's not going to make me happy. But we'll see. And then the sage color. So that's all my 
wax seals done with that. Okay, so the last bit of happiness here is uh, some stamps. And this first one, again, it was under, I think, $2. You can't, I'm just telling you, you can't beat it with a stick. Look at that dragonfly. Hold on. Do I have paper? I never like to have a plain piece of paper so you guys can see. I'm so sorry. You guys, it's been a half an hour. I'm so sorry. Um, so look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, that could just be like a whole page in the journal. And you just stamp it and keep it moving. So love that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, oh, so they sent me two of these and I only ordered one so or maybe I ordered two I don't even know but they're uh, just they're postage stamp dies so I thought those were fabulous um, just little postage stamp and a ticket that looks like a ticket this looks like a ticket die. Yeah, that's exactly what that one is. And these are just the postage stamps. So I thought that was good. It wasn't very spendy either. So I'm going to have to put the other one aside for some happy mail. So that was good. And like I said, I'll throw the other one aside for some happy mail. Um, this next stamp I got is a Halloween one, I like the witch hats and the boots, and then I also, it, I got the die that comes with it, and it, you know, a bunch of stars in the die, and it's, you know, we'll cut out the hat, the shoes, and the little spider, so very cool, and I think this was like a dollar ninety-five for the stamp, and then a dollar ninety-five for the die, so that's going to go in my Halloween stash, um, and then you guys, <laughs> this is the weirdest thing and I don't know why I got it, but I just thought it was very original. If I can get it out, look at that rabbit. <laughs> I just really liked it. I was tickled. Um, he's very weird. Oh, oh you probably can see him better this way. Um, but I just thought that that was interesting and that would be very interesting in a journal. So picked him up. I think he was like under, I think he was a dollar or something. Um, and then this is the last thing. Can you believe it? The last thing, 32 minutes in. So, <laughs> really? Thanks you guys. You're still watching. I appreciate it. Um, again, Alice in Wonderland journal. How could you not look at that? Stunning. Love it. Love it. Um, it's Alice, the Mad Hatter, the Vintage Wonderland, the Deck of Cards, Delightful, the Gate, um, Imagination in the Key. So I just, okay, so look, I'm done. <laughs> I'm finally done. Thanks for hanging in there and uh, watching my haul. Go check them out. Um, there are some uh, YouTubers on here that have like coupon codes. I don't have one or I'd happily give it to you, give you one. Um, so make sure you do check it out. Um, some people have like a 30% off, uh, coupon code. So make sure you use that as well. Okay. And like I said, the shipping was free. It was fast. Um, everything except for two items I was kind of underwhelmed with. Um, still not bad for everything that I picked up. And I think, you know, like I said, it wasn't a lot of money. It really wasn't for, for everything that I picked up because you can't walk into Michael's Hobby Lobby Joann's anywhere, um, and pick all this stuff up for what I paid for it. You can't. So it's worth a look. So I hope everybody is having a great day doing what you want to do and, uh, be sweet and be kind to each other. Oh, Hey mom. Hey pop. Sorry. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.